Well, I think, you know, when we all signed up for, whether it's nursing school, RT school, med school, uh, we all signed up with the intention of helping others, right? No matter what the situation is. This moment too, it's just important for all of us to kind of step up, um, not only care for the patients, but kind of alleviate, you know, anxiety and stress within the general community. Our custodians, um, our, our food delivery people, our nutrition services, um, the, the techs that, that transport people, I would emphasize the general population to just show appreciation for everyone that essentially works within the hospital. Again, it's, it's a very simple, like, it's not even a, a healthcare worker thing, right? It's just a basic human principle, just to be kind and respectful with one another. Typically was around 12 to 14 hour work days um, where I would round on the patients that were suspected or confirmed COVID in the morning. And then throughout the day, I would do the admissions for anyone that came through the emergency department. In addition, I'm, I've just been involved in a couple of meetings throughout the day, uh, whether it's within our division or within members of other specialties. So that's definitely been a change of having to find areas of um, stress relief. Um, so I've definitely been doing home workouts. Um, I bought a bunch of gym equipment uh, for, for my garage. Um, just going on walks uh, and runs, um, but just emphasizing to do these by yourself, right? Or if you live with you know a significant other or family members, doing it with them, talk about if you want to talk about COVID, talk about COVID and what's happening in the hospital, but also talk about non-COVID related things. Talk about your favorite TV show that you're watching, right? Kind of get your mind off of it. People that are around San Diego that do have extra supplies, um, I've just been kind of um, steering them to our website and, and just showing them how they can help because it's, it's super important. Um, that the healthcare community is is protected. We're at increased risk of, you know, getting transmitted. Um, and we we interact with these patients on a daily basis, on an hourly basis. So I, I've just been kind of pleading with the people that I know, uh, the social media community, to just donate within um, our system as well. I think showing appreciation for healthcare workers goes a really long way. Um, so if, you know, people that are in the general public, if you see anyone that are, that is in scrubs or, you know, on social media that you know that they're healthcare workers, just give them a quick, you know, message of appreciation. I think it's just important to, the, to share that we're gonna get through this.